You know, if, if you had the boat, you know, what would you want in it? And that's, uh, you know, I've kind of used that as my mindset as far as where I've wanted to go with, with this new uh, creek boat. You don't have to paddle this boat hard and it's going to get you through the stuff on the surface and in a lot of control. I had the opportunity to work on, on uh, Wave Sports' new creek boat and I was pretty excited to have an opportunity to, to again d do design and particularly to kind of get back into some of the white water where, where my passion is in, in paddling. I uh, had a pretty good idea of where we wanted to go with this new creek boat. Really wanted to, uh, to do some things a little bit different than what we'd had in some of the other wave sport boats. Continuous rocker, you know, we felt like that was real important uh, for boothability, for speed. We set out to design a rail system that you can carve down rapids and put the boat up on edge. You're not going to get typewritered side to side in big water. So these chimes on the recon are, are there for your use only when you want to use them. Only when you're deliberately putting the boat up on edge and you're determined to carve into an eddy or out of an eddy. And in that regard, it paddles a lot like a planning hall boat, but with the forgivability of a full-on displacement boat. We wanted a boat that had enough volume in the front of this thing that it was going to raise up. It was going to lift above the waves and be able to punch through holes. Uh, and so we needed a lot more volume up in there. We wanted more rocker uh, through that area, uh, peaking the deck a little bit more. And, uh, and there's some more volume and width in the stern. stern volume is really almost squirting you out of rapids. It's got such a big sunflower seed uh, shaped stern that you're exiting rapids with a lot of speed. One of the luxuries of, of uh, working in rotationally molding is, is the, the ability to, to create a prototype tool and, uh, and prototype our designs and, and and then to be able to tweak it. Uh, even though we've had a lot of things that were uh, identified um, as we have a, a boat that we can prototype, it gives us an opportunity to say, oh, you know, yeah, we're not quite there yet. We need to, we need to change this and move it back a little bit or let's, let's move a little bit different direction. Now that we see what that's like, let's, let's, let's change course a little bit and, and move through it. Fortunately, uh, I've, I've had a good bunch of guys to work with on this. Uh, no matter where they've been at, as, as we've talked about things, uh, for the most part, they've been very consistent about the changes. So it's made my job easy. Sometimes it feels like maybe we don't bring out boats quickly, but hopefully when we bring them out, we've brought out a really great boat. And we've had the time to really, you know, really vet that design and make sure that all of our team members have really had their hands on it. That's what I think makes a great boat. 